If you were to ask me, would I rather come in the sink or sink in the cum, I'd rather sink in the cum. Not because I want to be in the thick of it, because I always find myself being against trends like people hating on Eminem when his new album came out or when Houdini came out. Basically everything that's become popular and now with KSI's new song. People can have different opinions, I don't care, that's what makes us unique. It's so easy to tell when there's forced hate and actual criticism, especially the kids in this day and age where they all just want to be trend hoppers just to say something to say something that they don't know anything about and not have a reason for why they are making a statement about something when not being able to make an argument for the statement well unless you count get off my meat law bro i ain't letting you hit is that an argument? I really enjoy opposing people's views with a statement and a valuable argument that most people don't have because if Kai Sanat said broccoli is bad for you, kids would say broccoli is bad for you. Why? I enjoy opposing people's views because a lot of them just get offended when someone doesn't have the same view as them on something. If I said lunch lease isn't that bad of a product people would jump me and say well it is and you should get the fuck off this platform if you think that way that's actually what happened people got offended when i defended lunch lease on a video uh, but that's not the point the point is that people can't take different views or perspectives they need to believe that they're right and that people can't have another opinion than them so let's get into my thoughts of the song it's not a bad song it's not the best song in the world yes it's a bit outdated because it's a type of song that would have been in the early 2010s to mid 2010s but the song isn't horrible, it's not, it's tolerable, I'm able to listen to the song, I'm able to enjoy it. It's not the Eminem, lyrical, spiritual, miracle, individual in my swimming pool type of genius lyrics. It's not a revolutionary song like Eminem saying I can rhyme orange with banana or nana. That shit came from a different universe that revolutionized the way the world works it's just a catchy fun feel good song and that's all there is to it the entire song has feel good vibes about it and it doesn't really have a reason to be hated on i can understand why some people find it corny or cringe because people seem to not like motivational songs a lot of motivational songs are bad because it's cringe most of the time but this song didn't cringe me out it's not something i would listen to on the daily it's the same with it's everyday bro ohio fried chicken ksi this track the logo for this track it's certified hood classics that i'm putting out of my ass it's all just songs that i enjoy because it's fun and it represents a weird time in youtube because it's just a fun piece of media there's nothing more to it, I'm just having fun listening to goofy ass music. Same with listening to gay parodies even though I'm not gay. The song isn't a lyrical masterpiece. The music video looked good but the only thing that looked bad was the eye sculpture thingy. I don't love or hate this song. It's easy in the middle. It's just a fun song to listen to. It's nothing out of this world. I'd rather listen to from the screen to the ring to the pen to the king 1000 times over than listening to trippy reds part that's only 20 seconds long that auto tune is horrendous i don't get how people can listen to something that much auto-tuned auto-tune is supposed to make you sound better not like complete ass that's the only part that makes the song bad for me because eyes part is fine there's nothing more to it than a feel good song it's supposed to give you the smiles some people take music too serious if someone were to play a song at a party i'd enjoy it even though if i don't like the song i wouldn't bitch about it and be like turn this shit down this shit ass don't really care that much unless it's really 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 bad if you don't like something you don't like it cool same with the lunch video when i defended the product and not the creators people said oh bro is glazing ksi he's 
he's doing tricks on it, he's meat riding, or whatever childish nonsense you want to spew out because you don't like my opinions. So I'd, I'm not blazing KSI over this song, I'm just saying that the song isn't as bad as people make it out to be. People make it out to be as the worst song ever because a lot of people say it, they don't want to look different and whenever someone in the comments says they actually like the song, people would comment hate comments or, <laughs> or threats, yeah or just slurs and whatever. It's just becoming cringe to hate on something this hard. And it's just being hated this hard, especially because KSI responding to Dan TDM or not respond. Well, it's just because KSI kept on going on about the one tweet about Dan TDM. And I think that's why people are hating it because of the Launchly situation and this song is way too close to each other to not bully KSI about his new song as well. I'm not trying to be a party pooper or anything, people can make jokes about it, but the fact that every single video on TikTok is from the screen to the ring to the pen to a king, it's just at the point where there's an overabundance of hate and jokes and it's just becoming annoying. I should just delete TikTok because TikTok has the most brain dead people online. For example, hey, I like this song. Oh, you glazing! Glazing! You're, you're riding that dick! Some jokes about the case I think was funny. No, it's just overused. It's like a... It's just sad because you see all the people who suffer from the mental illness called... FOMO. As I said, I'm not a glazer. That feels so cringe to say. It's just a word being thrown around like a whore. It's just has no meaning anymore. And if you call me a KSI Glazer, I'll call you a Dan TDM Glazer. But on this video, not in comments, because I won't be responding to degenerate comments. So one last thing I wanted to talk about is just is something I just saw uh, when ending the video is News Daddy talking about oh my god guys the the lyrics have so much meaning from the screen you know YouTube and to the to to the ring from his ev evolution to the to the to becoming a boxer to the pen to becoming a musician so I'll just show a bit of the video and the comments the comments are brain dead. You actually analyze these lyrics. They are genius. So take this one, for example, from the screen to the ring to the pen to the crown. Do you know how much meaning is packed into such a small, short line? Like he's talking about how hard things have been from lately. Take this one. This is my screen. He's talking about how he started his career. You know, on the screen of that. When I saw the original video of the guy talking about it, it's obvious sarcasm. It's the most straightforward lyric. You know what it means upon hearing it. It doesn't take a lyrical genius to figure out what that means. But some of the comments, bro doing tricks on it. It's touching bro's stomach now. You can say what you want, but the general comments is just so brain dead and the same copy paste nonsense. And people can't tell what mocking or sarcasm is anymore. Oh my god, from the heart? He means he's talking from his heart, like like he means it and and this is such a great, amazing, awesome lyric. This is this is revolutionary. So social media really just dumbed people down. I saw videos of case I actually crashing out of how people hate his song, how they're really over hating on the entire thing. That's just annoying for me to see that people are still going out of their way. It's fun to be mean to him or it's fun to see him crash out. That's just childish. It's like being happy that you made a teacher cry. That attitude alone should get you nowhere in the world. You don't deserve good things if you want to be a dick to everyone. Yeah, KSI says he likes the song a lot and that he worked hard on it and that he doesn't know why there's a lot of hate. The sad reality is no matter how much you like something, there will always be people who dislike it, won't like it, and that's just how it is. But there's a difference between disliking stuff and what's happening right now about the trend of hating the song. Even though a lot of people don't hate the song, but they say they hate the song just for more attention. Some people say it's criticism. I say that's absolutely retarded because criticism 
and hate is way different things. It's an, it doesn't correlate to it, each other. If I need to spell out the basics, criticism is made to help someone improve. Hating is to hate and tell people they're bad. For example, if I post this video and it got viral and a lot of people would be like, your accent sucks, your face is ugly, your hair is shit, your video quality is ass. That's not criticism, that's just a full blown come all over my face. Hatefulness that's happening. 